Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you so much for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. This is day 137 of our trek and yesterday we explored the six reflection points for life's transitions. Today we're going to hike the seven trails of creating opportunities. We cannot sit idly by and wait for opportunities to come to us. We must create opportunities for us and others. As we study these wisdom nuggets each day, if you have any of your own observations, comments, or questions, please share them on the comment section of our daily journal pages for wisdom-trek.com. We are recording our podcast from our studios at Home 2 in Charlotte, North Carolina. Today was busy as expected, but at least we are a bit more rested than yesterday. There are so many opportunities in life to grow and excel if we are looking for them. With today's technologies, these opportunities are more prevalent than ever. It does require, though, that we step outside our comfort zone, but that is what makes life exciting and worth the trek. Unfortunately, though, I think Thomas Edison was correct when he said, Opportunity is missed by most people because it's dressed in overalls and looks a lot like work. As we do start our trek for today, we want to shift our mindset from looking for opportunities to creating opportunities. Now, there might be a fine line here, but if you are looking for opportunities, you're assuming that they are already available. Creating opportunities, on the other hand, requires that we assemble the puzzle pieces of our life in order to create the opportunities that we desire. As we create these opportunities, we want to look at the seven trails that will make a significant impact on our world each day. And as we continue on the trail for today, we pass by a beautiful clear lake nestled in the mountains, and it provides us a time to consider our ability to impact everyone that we meet, either in person or online. In order to create those opportunities that we desire, We must be a seeker and have the unquenchable hunger to be a difference maker in other people's lives. And as I throw a huge rock into the lake, we see the ripples extending from its ever-widening circles. In the same way, as we create opportunities, we will make an impact on our world and will send out those never-ending ripples within our ever-widening circle of influence. And this will allow us to be the change that we wish to see in the world, as Mahatma Gandhi once said. Some of the trails that we'll cover on today's Wisdom Trek are taken from a TED Talk by Kara Anderson, who shared this insight. All of us have the capacity to do something exceptionally well and make a significant contribution. Honing your greatest talents and skills through your authentic message is the key to successful contribution as an opportunity creator, which will lead you to survive and thrive in this fast-changing world. By making new opportunities through the seven trails that we are hiking today, you will have the capability of achieving immense accomplishments. There is one caveat, though, to this scenario. To create real opportunities, you must focus on how others will also benefit from the opportunities that you create. None of us live in a vacuum. We must always be looking for ways to help others to improve, and in doing so, we will also be creating positive opportunities for ourselves. As we explore these seven trails today... I first want to ask you this question. What opportunities can we create together and how can we accomplish this? Trail number one is become an opportunity maker for others. This is the essential key that we become an opportunity maker for others first. Everything else will naturally flow and follow. Jesus put it this way in Luke chapter 6 verse 31. Do to others as you would like them to do for you. Trail number two, collaborate and provide support. It is really a true art to collaborate with people that act, think, and process information differently than we do. This is hard for most of us, but that is where the true magic takes place. The most beautifully sung songs are not the ones where everyone is singing in unity, or that is to say on the same notes, but the beautiful songs is where each person is singing at different notes or in harmony. Paul wrote a letter to the church in Rome in chapter 12 verse 16 Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Trail number three, connect with each other. Truly and deeply connecting with another person is an art. It can only happen, though, when you are fully present, aware, and open, leaving any judgments aside. That is the moment where true greatness enters the room. Luke wrote in his good news document, chapter 6, verse 37 and 38, Do not judge others, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn others, or it will come back against you. Forgive others, and you will be forgiven. Give, and you will receive. Your gift will return to you in full, pressed down, shaken together, to make room for more, running over and poured into your lap. The amount that you give will determine the amount that you give back. So as we're creating opportunities, always let us look for opportunities for others. 
Trail number four, express appreciation for others. It is a simple yet profound concept that when only done genuinely can fully unfold. It will also allow others to appreciate you more and all your efforts. As Paul instructed Timothy in his second letter to him, in chapter 2, verse 24, a servant of the Lord must not quarrel, but must be kind to everyone, be able to teach, and be patient with difficult people. Trail number five, share your story and connect with others. The power of storytelling and sharing will only assist you in your connecting with others, but create a safe space for others to share their stories and deep desires and passion so opportunity making can grow at the speed of light. Jesus was the master storyteller, and one such example is in Mark chapter 4, verses 1 through 3. Once again, Jesus began teaching by the lake shore. A very large crowd soon gathered around him, so he got into a boat. He sat in the boat while all the people remained on the shore. He taught them, telling them many stories in the form of parables, such as this one. Listen, the farmer went out to plant some seed. And then he goes on with the story. Trail number six, share your best strengths and talents. What are your best strengths and talents? Do you know those? This is an excellent starting point to discover them and hone your strengths and talents even further so that each one of us are fully ready to make a significant contribution to each other. In Paul's letter to the church of Corinth, he describes the gifts that are given to each of us in chapter 12, verse 7. Spiritual gifts are given to each of us so that we can help each other. In trail number 7, think big ideas and concepts. The world indeed is very hungry for people with big ideas, innovative minds, and new concepts that will make a difference, and will make a difference now. It is so powerful to observe the energy and synergy of a group of people in action while sharing their common interests and unique perspectives and opportunities. Paul, in his letter to the Church of Ephesus, described it in this way in chapter 3, verse 14 through 16. When I think of all this, I fall on my knees and pray to the Father, the Creator of everything in heaven and on earth. I pray that from His glorious, unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. So as we have briefly explored these seven trails and how to create opportunities in our lives and the lives of others, let us journey on to create a legacy, a legacy that matters. Be a legend in your own legendary way. And then come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, and we will begin to explore the 11 life-changing lessons. That'll finish our podcast for today. Remember to listen to your daily dose of wisdom at wisdom-trek.com or subscribe at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Spreaker, or YouTube so that the episodes will be downloaded to you automatically. And if you haven't done so already, we would appreciate you rating and reviewing us on iTunes or one of the other platforms. And we would really appreciate it if you'd please share Wisdom Trek with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or as you meet with them in person each day. The journal for today's trek can be found at wisdom-trek.com. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, mentor, but most importantly, your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal each day. As we take this trek together, let us always remember to live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.